Hey guys, it's TJ and Dave from Gemini Fitness and Combat. You may have previously recognized me with all the hair. I chopped it because I got tired of it being pulled. But today we're going to go over open guard passes. So whenever I start to deal with somebody, I want to deal with them like a down loop bar and progress all the way forward. As a general concept or principle, not, not a lot. Ankle, knee, hip. Then I'm getting to his torso. So, if I can go and bypass the ankles and control the inside of the knees, that'd be most ideal. Staying in tight, I want to be more like a T-Rex. My head over my hips, that way he is less likely to be able to start weaving his legs inside. So now, the first one is just a pin and pass. If we change lanes, we step over, we're looking to pin the knees down, keep our weight on here, and drive our head into his center line, using it as an additional hand. I turn the corner, drive the legs over, and sit a little low. Second one, your traditional Toriyando pass. We're trying to cause a reaction. Because once I push in, he's gonna wanna push out. That's when I'm changing lanes, sidestepping, driving my shoulders in, and then getting to my side control position. Third option, going back to the pin and pass, I switch lanes, drive him down, I start to turn the corner, but he's spraying really good with his hands. And I can't, I can't change over to get side control. Dropping my shoulder and my neck right on top of the thigh. See how my weight's on there? Now when I change angles, I can start to take side control of the back. Those are some of the things we're going over this week in class. If you have any questions, please uh, write comments down below. Send this to a friend that you think it would help with. Thank you for your time.